So I just arrived, and basically the way that it works is from once the time we get in, we have about an hour before we have to be on air. So in that time, we have to do hair and makeup. We have to kind of read in on the day's weather, get to today's schedule, and also uh, have time to kind of wire up. So it doesn't leave us a whole lot of time. I try to print out a bunch of things and then take them down with me to hair and makeup. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, time to go get my pronouns. Okay, so now we're going to go grab the pronouns from the weather press set. We'll spend some more time up here a little bit later. Hey, Dara. This is Jeff. He's our executive producer. What a nice opportunity. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and thanks for, uh, for watching the weather. We're watching it for you. All right. Time for hair and makeup. Good. Good. So this is Tanya. She gives me really good hair. Hi. <laughs> So because I only have an hour prep time, I usually read up on sort of the day's weather as much as I can while I'm getting my hair done. See, this is like one of my favorite parts of the day. <laughs> because having worked in um, local television for 10 years, I'd never had hair and makeup before until I came here. Voila! <laughs> This is the, the net desk. This is sort of the heart and soul of the entire NBC network. Everything comes into here and goes out from here, all over the country. So now I'm going into a super private meeting, so I'll have to turn my microphone off. And I'll see you again um, after the meeting. <laughs> off. Okay, so I've already got my IFB in, and you might wonder why I'm putting all this <laughs> on my leg. Everybody always sees me around the building if I have a skirt on, and they're like, what happened to your leg? <laughs> this is just what I put everything on, um, so you can't see it on camera, because if I'm not wearing a jacket, because I don't wear a jacket every day, it ends up looking like I have a, you know, I have a big bulge on my backside, because the anchors, you know, they sit at the desk, and you don't see the back, but with other people, when we turn to the side, we have all this stuff on our back, it looks kind of funny, so... Make sure everything's turned on. Always have to remember though to turn off your microphone so you go to the bathroom. Very important. Oh, this is Michelle, by the way. She's one of our weather producers. Hello. She, uh, very important in the weather producer's role. Because we do so many weather segments, it's hard to prepare the graphics for every single one of them. It just, there's just not enough time. So um, they do probably 75% of the graphics. But because we're covering the whole nation, it's impossible to, to know everything about every location. So you just kind of focus on a few areas. Right now, this first segment I'm going to do just kind of focusing on the Northeast. And I just kind of go and kind of take a look and see if there's any um, real obvious weather concerns in the Northeast today. It doesn't work as a whole lot's going on. So things are kind of quieting down in the Northeast, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and get that ready because my hit is in five minutes. You're watching NBC Weather Plus. I'm meteorologist Kristen Cornett. Firefighters in Southern California are trying to get the upper hand on a wildfire that is burning out of control. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Let's take you now into the northeast. We're going to still have some scattered showers out there. Now, the frontal boundary that is uh, still bringing rain to the southeast, an afternoon high of 82 degrees. Um, no, point me. <laughs> uh, second on air. Um, I always kind of get lost under because I don't remember that. It's okay. So. <laughs> Hopefully there's no one in there. Oh good, it's open. Okay, go right in here. Yeah. Just shut the door, put your headset on, and I'll uh, talk to you in a second. Okay. Hey, Kristen. Hey. Can you, uh, whenever you're ready, will you read, just read for levels? Sure. The Labor Day weekend was a washout across many portions of, east of the eastern seaboard as the remnants of Tropical Storm Ernesto barreled through. 
How's that? Perfect. Stand by. Several inches of rain fell during a two-hour period on Monday, flooding dozens of cars and homes in the region. The, um, All right, all done. Time for a tour. All right, so check it out. This is the green room. Pretty exciting stuff. What you expected? <laughs> this is where the guests come while they're awaiting hair and makeup. There's actually a few others, but they're not much more exciting than this, actually. going I need you come with so this is the weather plus control room this is our little section we're kind of scattered all over the building because we came here um, about a year and a half ago and of course MSNBC has been here for like 10 years so we're kind of all over the building Pam can you tell me a little bit about what happens in here I have the green screen up here you can see that it's a green screen really but I'm putting it through um, an Emmy to make it have the computer graphics over top so Kristen would stand in front of there and we have different computer graphics so this is the plus five for example that I just did that you just did yeah exactly and I get to be a one-man band back here I get to put on my little headset and you talk to me in my ear and I talk to Kristen in her ear time cues and such Okay, we're countdowns time cues um, tell her outs of packages stuff like that this is our camera control. We have two cameras. We have camera one and two. Aha! There's Michelle. There's Michelle. <laughs> she is, there she is. <laughs> we can spy on people and they never know. It's great. It's <laughs> Since most of us don't have cars, we mostly live in Manhattan and take public transportation. Um, not to mention there's not really a whole lot of restaurants in the area. So we actually have our commissary. It's like a big cafeteria up here. This is where most everybody eats their meals, which is really nice. They usually have a pretty good selection. Let's go check it out. So this is my favorite section. Mmm. <laughs> I try not to eat this too much, but they're really, really, really good. So we have our little fitness center here. I try to use it as often as I can. It's a really nice little bonus working here. Well, apparently here at MSNBC, people don't work out. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, this is actually pretty busy in the afternoon hours uh, before people go home. But it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now, so things are pretty quiet. So this is the entrance to the main MSNBC studio. So uh, there's Joe Scarborough. He's obviously getting ready to uh, anchor a segment here. You might see his show Scarborough Country every night on MSNBC. This is the MSNBC weather set. Voila, MSNBC weather set. Of course, the lights would normally be up, but here's our cameras and graphics right over here. And just on the other side of this wall, check this out. It's the Weather Plus set. Green wall. So we're right adjacent to each other, and literally, most days, we run back and forth. So a lot of what you see on TV is fake. For instance, when I'm shot on the air, I'm standing right here looking at that camera, and you see this big fancy background behind me, but, you know, this is just... It's just a screen. Check this out. Sometimes it appears like I'm on another background, and this is what appears behind me. It looks like we got this big fancy set and all this and that. No. Also, another fake screen. So, check it out. No ceiling. No ceiling. And you might also notice here the brick. There's that brick all over the building. Completely fake brick. This one you're really going to find interesting. You might have remembered meeting Michelle earlier. Even she's fake. Let's watch this, because they're actually 30 seconds to air, so you can kind of watch everything unfold right here. Welcome to MSNBC's continuing campaign coverage on Joe Scarborough. It's three the East Coast. Okay. 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 This is our um, producer pod. Basically what happens at this portion of the desk is, as you know, um, we have the need for live shots. We have a need for video. We have a need for just getting information from our affiliate stations so that we can actually have something to put on the air. And I pretty much help coordinate bringing all of that material into this building here at MSNBC so that Kristen has a live shot to toss to about a hurricane or a flood or also video that will help enhance what you're talking about when it comes to flooding or forest fires. You probably saw me earlier doing my segment and I actually had prompter and I was reading a script. He gets all that stuff into the scripts and decides what elements that we're going to use. 
and how much time I need to do my own maps. Of course, I have to put those together. Kind of is in my ear also, keeping me on time. All that good stuff. And trying not to bug her too much. And trying not to bug me too much. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to head out. Um, things have been pretty quiet so far today, but I actually have a little bit of work to do now. So if you haven't figured it out as of yet, I'm actually uh, taking you to the door uh, here in Lovely Secaucus, New Jersey, because it's time for me to get back to work. He's got the door for you. Have a good afternoon. Bye.